Hello, this is Dr. McSee from Sound Learning, bringing you, bringing you another video to help you read, write, and spell really well. This time it's on the U R sound R. R from phase three letters and sounds, and we're going to be writing sentences in this one. U and R come together to make the sound you hear in the word fur. So, as I say, we're going to be writing sentences, putting words into a sentence. You'll hear some sentences, you'll see some sentences, you'll hopefully read them and then be able to write them. I'll read them to you, you'll see them, then you'll have 30 seconds to write them down. You'll need a pencil and paper ready, so if you're ready, let's go, but as usual, if you're not, hit pause. I'm going to move on to the first sentence, this is R. And the sentence is, 10 seconds, look at it and remember it. Is it my turn to surf? Is it my turn to surf? A couple of pictures to help you remember it. 10 seconds now, round about. Is it my turn to surf? Can you keep that in your head long enough to write it down? I'm going to go to the next one and ask you. You'll have 30 seconds after you, you hear it. Okay, the er sound, put in sentences. Is it my turn to surf? Is it my turn to surf? 30 seconds from now. Try and write it down. Capital letter, full stop, remember. Is it my turn to surf? Is it my turn to surf? Have you got it down yet? You got the UR sounds. Is it my turn to surf? There you are. You can correct your sentence if you want to pause and do that. Or you can move on with me now to, to the next one. I'll show you all the sentences at the end. So this is the ER sound and the next sentence is Can you burn turnip? Can you burn turnip? Can you burn turnip? 10 seconds now to look at that and try and remember it. Make a strong picture in your mind. That's how you remember these spellings. Can you burn turnip? Have you got it? It's a short sentence, that one. Can you burn turnip? You ready to write it down? Hit pause if you're not. This is the er sound. 30 seconds to write it down. Can you burn turnip? Can you burn turnip? And then 30 seconds. Have you got it in your mind? Can you burn turnip? Can you burn turnip? And remember, cap letter and question mark, yes? Can you burn turnip? You need both in that sentence. Can you burn turnip? Hit pause if you need more time now. Can you burn turnip? Pause and correct it if you like. Otherwise, move on with me to the next one. The next er uh, sentence. 10 seconds to look and remember. Will it hurt to curl my hair? Will it hurt to curl my hair? Will it hurt to curl my hair? I would love you to be able to tell me when you're ready, but I'm going to wait about 10 seconds. And you hit pause if you're not. Will it hurt to curl my hair? Are you ready? Hit pause otherwise. I'm moving. This is the last sentence, the last er sentence. 30 seconds to write it down. Will it hurt to curl my hair? Will it hurt to curl my hair? 30 seconds now. Will it hurt to curl my hair? Have you got it? Uh, remember, capital letter, question mark. Will it hurt to curl my hair? So hit pause if you're not ready. Oops, will it hurt to curl my hair? Next, I'm going to show you all three sentences. 
So we can either pause now and correct it, or pause in a minute. So here are the three sentences all together. The first one was, is it my turn to surf? Is it my turn to surf? Next one was, can you burn turnip? Can you burn turnip? And then there was, will it hurt if I curl my hair? If you want to pause and correct to us, please do. Otherwise, we can move on. And I can say, have you got the UR sound? In sentences, if you got it, try making up some of your own, some sentences of your own. If you don't, have another go and learn it. Okay, and remember, you are together and make the sound you hear in the word fur. Okay, so all I've got to do is thank you for watching, I ask you to subscribe and to like and say thank you very much and hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.